The state passed that bill just days ahead of Out Raleigh. It's an event celebrating Pride Month here. People in the LGBTQ plus community tell WRL's investigative data journalist Ali Ingersoll that they feel our policies here could be keeping some people away. <laughs> North Carolina has been put on notice by the human rights campaign. The advocacy group declared our state one of 23 considered high priority to achieve basic equality. They're putting our lives in jeopardy. That's Kendra Johnson, Equality NC's executive director. She says there's a trend going on in our state and the South where hundreds of new bills are being proposed, which target the LGBTQ plus community and their rights. Civil rights should not be a partisan issue and they are right now. Um, LGBTQ folks who are taxpayers and contribute to North Carolina society and their business and schools and education and culture and arts should have the exact same rights as people who are not LGBTQ+. Johnson says such legislation often results in same-sex couples choosing not to live in those areas. In North Carolina, new census data shows same-sex couples make up 0.8% of households in the state. That's slightly below the national average of 0.9%. We routinely get folks who reach out to us who ask about the conditions on the ground before they move their families here. When we look at the states same-sex couples choose to call home in comparison to those the human rights campaign considers high priority, those in the light green, 18 of the 23 have rates below the national average. Similarly, when we look at the 21 locations considered to have the most protective laws in place, 19 of them have rates at or above the national average. For folks who are LGBTQ plus or other minorities, they don't want to move to a state um, where they don't have legal equality. Johnson says that these decisions have lasting impacts and shape what our state and its economy looks like. For WRAL News, Ali Ingersoll.